Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Nationals 4-1 today. They got the bats going. The RBI double by Mitch Haniger and the homer by Casey Schmidt and the single by J.D. Davis all drove in runs for the Giants. And they took the win 4-1. Alex, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. Logan Webb pitched seven innings allowing one run. That's really great for him because not only was he effective, but he pitched deep into the game. Sometimes you almost think that's, that's almost as much of a contribution as keeping runs off the board. I mean, I, I don't want to exaggerate. I'm, I'm not saying that the bullpen for sure couldn't do it, but I just think it's always beneficial when the Giants starters pitch deep into the game. And Logan Webb did that today, and he turned it over to Taylor Rogers. I, I'm sorry, I don't want to accept Jack. I think it was Tyler Rogers in the eighth and Camilo Doval in the ninth to close out the game. So the Giants are, are definitely hanging in there. I, I, I was wondering if those two losses were just going to start another losing streak. But hey, if, if the Giants can take this series against the Nationals, that'll be their third straight series they've won. And they're not going to be in bad shape at all if they can win this one. I, I, I think that they can hang on even if they have some bad games in there where they can't get the bats going and the other team can and all that like, like yesterday. Even if they have some of those, I, I think they can hang in there because they, they, they got plenty of good potential as well. And that, that's what happened today. Webb kept runs off the board. And, and, and Webb... I'm really saying this from, you know, if, if you ask me what I thought, if, if it was mainly that Webb needed to perform well or that the Giants needed to realize that to get the bats going on his starts, I, I don't know if there's conflict between the two ideas here. The Giants can't lose Logan Webb starts, and I mean everything by it. They, they have to win them. They did a very good job of doing it today, but I really mean everything by it. Logan Webb has to continue to pitch well, and he did that today. I think he's, I, I really think he's going to be an all-star if he keeps this up. He was one last year, and I know starting this year, he didn't really look like it, but I believe that there's at least a chance that Webb can be an all-star yet. Really good performance from today. The other side to that is that the Giants can't lose. Webb starts by not getting runs on the board, the bullpen losing it, the rest of the team can't lose those starts. It's all, it's all got to work together. And that is particularly the thing that went well today. I think, and, and there, there are so many things that, go, that are going to go into this that it's hard to, to nail down just a few. But if, if you're really looking at pointers to kind of to kind of look at where the Giants are and what you should expect, I think their ability to win Logan Webb starts is going to be one of those important things. That's what they did well today against the Nationals, but that that's the thing that if they're going to continue to to hang in there, I, I would say that's a really crucial thing for them. Well, it, of, of course, the environment, it doesn't feel like a playoff environment yet, and it, it's only the month of May and all that, so it's probably too early to start saying that, but you kind of get the concept here that the Giants, what went well today is is really th the way they're going to be thinking about it, you know, if, if it goes like this and in the playoffs and with Logan Webb probably starting game one of whatever series, that that's what we're going to have to look for. They're going to have games like this where they can get some runs on the board and he can hold them down and the bullpen obviously can finish it. Or is it going to be... I mean, I think that's the kind of the question that we're asking here. And, and, and if they can... The other thing too is you have a roster and the season's going to be... I'm just saying this. Before I say it, I'm just going to state my reason. It's it's really meant to be kind of encouraging since the Giants aren't expected 
to win like that many games. They, they certainly aren't expected to win the division. It's probably going to be somewhere between 80 and 90. Although I think that they have the potential to come out on the high end of that if, if they are consistent and all that. They could get 90 wins. They could win a few more than that. I, I don't think any of that's out of the question. But even if, let's say, they take a wild card spot with 87 or 88 wins, I do want to mention the fact that you can really leverage the players on your roster in the postseason in ways that are not always possible in the post. Excuse me, in the regular season. For, for one thing, you can pitch with a three or four man rotation. Sometimes your starters can start on three days rest. That's just one thing, and and, and you can really like not having to give players rest and all that. I would say that the main effect this has is like in terms of pitching, you can work the bullpen pretty hard for the guys that are the best for you. And like I just mentioned, the rotation too. So what does this mean? Well, I think that if the Giants like barely sneak into the playoffs, you wouldn't expect them to go anywhere. I mean, just generally speaking, at first glance, you wouldn't expect them to do too much in the playoffs if they barely snuck in. However, the point here is, is that I wouldn't be quick to say that their record is predictive of what's going to continue into the playoffs given the fact that you can leverage your roster a little bit better and squeeze out the very best, hopefully, from it. Now, doesn't this apply to just about any team? Yes, I think it does. And I'm not here to comment on them at all, really. I'm here to comment on the Giants. I'm just saying what I've seen with the Giants is that when they're at their best, they look like they're going to kill it. And I know it's been a seesaw so far this year. That's really what we've seen. When they're at their best, though, they are really able to kill it. And that's what I hope they're going to be doing for a while now. So I just say all of that to say, even if they sneak into the playoffs, just barely by a thin margin, hopefully they can at least squeeze out the best from their roster so that they can have, have a chance there. And of course, there's the trade deadline, you know, for, for what that's worth, just for what that's worth in terms of being able to add to your roster, it'll be, they'll have those players like only for the second half and, and obviously they need to be aggressive there. So can the Giants take this series against the Nationals? Well, I, I think there's a very good chance of that. I, I mean, they I, I know they didn't really keep runs off the board yesterday, but all five of, wait a minute, I, I don't remember how many they scored, but five of the Nationals' runs came against Anthony DiScalfani in the first inning. And today, Logan Webb was just lights out, and the Giants were the ones to score the runs and, and, and win this game. Um, so... And, and we really didn't expect them to win that series against the Astros either. I, I think they are really on a cruise right now. Of, of course, I, I, I think saying all this, I've got to be keep you guys prepared for the possibility of failure, and and that you know you, you so that you know you won't be crushed if the Giants do lose this series. I I don't think it would be crippling for them. So I, I would say that we. Expect success here, but prepare for failure. That, that's probably the best way of thinking about it. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.